Okay, now we have um, done a lot of things in a few videos here, but right now we're at the point um, where we have our scatter diagram graphed on our calculator. And now we're ready to create our regression equation, or another way of saying this is to find the line of best fit. So in order to do that, here's what we're going to do. Um, we're going to hit our stat key, which again is right here. And that brings up this menu, which should look familiar. Now we want to arrow over into this calc menu. So when I arrow over, you see now calc is highlighted and we've opened up a whole new menu of things. Okay, number four here says Lin Reg AX plus B. We would see this as MX plus B in the past. This is a linear regression or basically a line. But you also have a lot of other choices here that I want to point out. Um, we have a quad reg, which is a quadratic regression. We have cubic reg, which is, again is a cubic or a third power. A quartic, which would be a fourth power. Let me arrow down here so you can see some of the other choices. We have another type of linear regression where the, the x value is, is slightly opposite here. This LN is a natural log regression, which we'll talk about natural logs later on. This one is an exponential regression. We have power regressions, logistic regressions. Uh, there are all kinds of choices that we have. Now I'm going to arrow back up to the top again. Okay. For right now, everything that we're going to be doing is just this Lin Reg, which is number four. So we're going to choose number four for Lin Reg. And now, as long as our list, all of our data, is in L1 and L2, then this will happen by default. We don't have to put in anything else. All we have to do now, once that is on our screen, is hit Enter. And now we actually get um, the linear regression, where we have y equals ax plus b. See, we would see that as an m normally, but the calculator does it as a. Now, we... Um, you know, they ha there have to be numbers that represent the slope and the y-intercept. So they've defined those here. The slope, or the a value, is 1.13 if we round to two decimal places. And the y-intercept is negative 3.86. So if we were going to write that as an equation, which we're probably going to have to do, you know, um, on some of these, we would write our equation as y equals, instead of the a, we don't want to put a, we put 1.13x, and then our y-intercept, which is negative 3.86. So that would be the linear regression, or the line of best fit, to that data that we have been putting in, all those data points here. Now I want to point out something also. Um, some of your calculators will show these R's, some of them may not. And either way that's okay. The R, what that is, that's called the Pearson Correlation Coefficient. It really means how good of a fit the data is to this line that they've created. The closer this number is to 1, the better of a fit that the line is. So this says that the, the Pearson correlation co coefficient is 0.99. That's pretty close to 1. So that tells us that this line is a pretty good fit. And um, if you have to take statistics classes, then you'll be doing stati statistical tests with the Pearson correlation coefficient. But for right now, here's our line of best fit. Okay, just to quickly review then what we did, uh, let me get out of there, okay, I'm going to um, clear this off as if we'd never done that. I'm going to go stat, arrow over to calc, choose number four for lin reg or linear regression, and then hit enter. And here again, there are my coefficients. Make sure you write this as an equation properly.